Hey everybody, Wired here, and welcome to the L.A. Noir playthrough for the PlayStation 3, Rockstar's newest game. Uh, there's been a lot of hype around this game. Uh, it's basically a detective simulation, so it's interesting to see a game Rockstar uh, pretty much took liberties with. Uh, let's just play, I guess. I don't have any extras because the PlayStation Store is down. I'm actually pretty excited about this game. There's a lot of hype around this game, and I want to see if it's as warranted as I think it is. A city on the verge of greatness. A new type of city, based not on the man, but on the automobile, the car, the symbol of freedom and vitality. Where every man can own his own home and have room to breathe not be overlooked by his neighbors. The city where a man's home is his castle. A quarter acre of the dream made possible by victory. The city of opportunists. The city of dreams. Where Hollywood will shape the thoughts and desires of the entire planet. The city of pioneers. Jungle drums. <laughs> oh, my God. The city of dreamers. Oh, yeah. God, those two look like twins. It's weird. A city of undercurrents. Where not everything is as it seems. A 20th century city that will become a model for the world. A city that has no boundaries will stretch as far as the eye can see. In the Marine Corps, you deal with the chain of command. Mistakes get made, but you deal with them. You know what you're fighting for and that you're on the same team. But dealing with corruption is like chasing shadows. You never know whether the guy you're talking to is on the pad, or whether it's your partner, or maybe even the watch commander. So who do you trust, Cole? I made up my mind a long time ago. Everyone's a suspect. KGPL calling car, 14 Adam. 14 Adam, come in. Go ahead, KGPL. 14 Adam, see the detective an ambulance shooting at 6th and Industrial Street. Get a 16 William request uniform assistance for an evidence search. 14 Adam, go to... Roger, 14 Adam en route. Okay, how do I drive? I just completely guessed. Here we go again. <laughs> they don't request uniforms for an evidence search unless there's some kind of catch. Hold a brake, hold all to the reverse, the yes. Standard. Himself. I don't have to follow the law. All right, here we go. Our first crime scene. Floyd Rose, homicide. You might back up. Yes, sir. Phelps and Dunn, Wilshire Division. We had a shooting took place down this alleyway. We have the Vic, Scooter Payton, a Negro male, bagged up and on his way to Central Morgue. Witness says a tall white guy, our shooter, put two in the Vic's head and then threw his piece. I need you guys to try and recover the gat. You want us to look anywhere in particular? Give it your best shot, guys. The dead guy's a low life. I'm not expecting any miracles here. And if we recover the weapon? Bag it and return it to technical services. You hurry it up, Floyd. We I'm got places here. to be. Happy hunting. <laughs> this is a fist hump. Just going through the motions. You're probably right. Let's just get it over and done. All right, have it your way. We'll search right up to the back wall. If you still don't come up with anything, come find me and we'll talk it out. Two heads are always better than one. How 
How the hell do I search? Or is it just gonna give me a button prompt whenever I get close to something useful? Look at this junk. It's not my job to pick through other people's trash. Okay, so the music is like giving you hints. Jesus. Cole, come take a look at this. I can see it from here. It's vibrating, but let me go back here. Oh, I'm pressing X. I'm spamming X. We gotta find something around here. It's blood. Shooter put him up against the wall and blew his brains out. Hell of a way to go. Doesn't really matter how you go once you're gone. <laughs> Don't get all deep on me, Phelps. All right. Oh, I spy a gun. Oh, there's something on the rooftop. How the hell did you see that? A reflection in the window. Looks like it might be our weapon. I'm gonna see if I can find a way up there. All right, don't hurt yourself. <laughs> Are you saying I'm physically inept? I'm totally gonna die. Roof, right? So we need to find a way up. It's a bottle of beer. It doesn't appear to be connected. <laughs> Use it to manipulate the object. Ooh. Oh. This is so homoerotic right now. <laughs> oh my god. Alright, then put it down. You're tearing up the crime scene. That was probably way easier than it should have been. Oh, we have a pistola. Found it yet? It's a f six shooter. It's like a Magnum or something. Smith and Wesson, serial S seven one eight nine three. Fully loaded. Two rounds fired. Oh. And instead of dropping it down a drain, our shooter hoists it up here. Interesting guy. We should follow up on this now before the perp tries to leave town. Press select to open your notebook. Crime. Seen Smith and Wesson revolver. Blood stain, crime scene, blood sta splatter stains is recessed doorway on alleyway floor. Okay, so what do I need that little notebook for? We have the gun, Cole. Let's take it back to Central. We could get a commendation. We could show some initiative, Ralph. See if we can come up with an owner. That's a long shot, Cole. It's a pretty fancy gun. You know a local gun store? Sure. There's a place a couple of blocks from here. I don't know if I'd call it that fancy. It's just a revolver. Of course, I had no clue what it was when he picked it up anyway, and he did, so... Are you sure about this? It's not really our gig. No harm in doing some digging. The suits didn't seem to give much of a damn. Such a little boy scout, Cole. You can't wait to get out of that uniform, can you? Trying to get detective. And help old ladies across the road. I'd rather get through the day without the captain's foot up my ass. It'll be fine, Ralph. It's Don't worry a... too much. What the hell is it? A two? It would take a smarter man. Paintbrush. Like I'm just gonna put the paintbrush down and let's go. Hmm.
There must be more clues because it's still like playing the music. Alright, whatever, dude. Whatever. This guy's all on my ass and shit, so. You just go. I'm the lazy detective, what do you expect? Uh, the bottle or the paper? The bottle or the paper? We'll pick the paper. <laughs> Let's manipulate the paper now. Dr. Fontaine. Could I have a word? Of course, young man. I really enjoyed your lecture, doctor. Psychiatry seems to have a tremendous amount to offer. Why, thank you. I'm always happy to receive acknowledgement for my work. The mind is the last great mystery in medicine. Are you thinking <laughs> of Mr. Sheldon? Or Courtney Sheldon? I'm only in second year, Doctor. They fast tracked me a year because of my experience during the war. Ah. That's what I wanted to talk to you about battle fatigue and collapse under duress. Can it be helped? I would say yes. Given the right set of circumstances, trauma forces the mind to close down, retreat in on itself. We try to find ways to unlock the mind again through a combination of therapy and drug treatment. Hypnosis and therapy are powerful tools in the right hands, Jim. I've been to visit some of the guys at the VA hospital. A good friend of mine so far away. It's like he's wandering. You went through a lot together. Yes, Doctor. Give me his details and I'll make a prognosis. I have a number of clinics in Los Angeles, Courtney Sheldon. And your penance, or your friend's help, is to come and work at one of them in your spare time. With what little spare time a medical student has. Is that a deal? Is it ever? I, I can't thank you enough. I'm not promising a cure, Courtney. I want you to remember that. Every physician has patients that he cannot hope to cure, for whom he can only smooth the path to death. What a positive thinker that guy is, huh? I'm glad he's not my teacher. Wake up, Cole. Up, oh, all clues are discovered. The music stopped. This partner of mine is thinking small. My dude wants to make frickin' detective, not sit around in this frickin' uniform all day. When we could totally be wearing cool trench coats and being like Dick Tracy and shit with all the women's. There's no sprint button. Oh, there it is. Good, I was tired of walking. Alright, so we gotta go to the local gun store. Guns and ammunition sales, downtown outlet. 357 South Central Avenue. So do I have to, like, make my own, like, marker or something? We're gonna try and drive like civilized human beings in this game as well. I gotta look at this map. Is this an alleyway crime scene? 357 South Central Avenue. There we go. They marked it for me. That's much easier. I know I said we we're gonna drive like civilized people, but these people aren't civilized. I mean, look at this guy. This is about how I drive in real life. <laughs> Cutting through this alley. God. 
At least she was smart enough to get out of the way. Here we go. Of course, the gun store is open 24 hours a day. <laughs> oh my god. The 50s and shit kick ass. I'm go buy a gun any time of the day. Officers Phelps and Dunn. Can you tell us anything about this gun? Smith & Wesson. Model 27 registered Magnum. Chambered for 357. Nickel plated with pearl grips. Same gun used by General Patton. <laughs> You're not suggesting he's the owner? No, I'm not. You seem to know a lot about the weapon. I ought to. I sold it. You know this piece will stop a rhino. These babies are only available special order. Here's my Smith & Wesson order book. You mind if I take a look? Be my guest. This is about something bad, right? Someone's dead. Some guy, I don't even know who he is. Model 27 with pearl grips, Cole. You see it on there? 25, 25, 24, 24. Nickel checkered walnut grip. Pearl grip right here. We're in luck. Errol Schroeder. 203 South Glass Street. Ordered the gun in February 46. Thanks, you've been a big help. Anytime. Always happy to help out the LAPD. Yeah, okay. Then you get shot on our way out. Boom. Do we call it in? Let's see if he's at home. Owning the gun doesn't prove he pulled the trigger. Okay. In for a penny, in for a pound. Lead the way, Gunga Den. Whoa! <laughs> Tony almost busted that dude's shit. Now that wasn't so hard, was it? Just because we're in uniform doesn't mean we can't use Woo! our own. <laughs> so. Seems a little too good to be true. The siren eyed. One of a kind murder weapon bought locally using a real name. If Schroeder's our shooter, he's no criminal mastermind. Most of them aren't. That's why they get caught. Two out of every three crimes are done on impulse. Another fact from the Phelps Encyclopedia of Thin Air. You really are full of them. My partner's gonna be working in this car the rest of his life. I think we gotta go on the highway here. Almost scratched the paint. There's no GPS like in uh, GTA and stuff. Even Mafia, which is a game that takes place in around this time, uh, had a GPS. I was lightly touching the brake and it still like locked the brakes out. <laughs> Am I driving on the train tracks? Totally am. <laughs> oh my god. Alright, here we go. Mr. Errol Schroeder. Ten fifty seven PM. I 
I'm gonna sprint in there and bust his door open. Fuck you doing? Gold handled doors allow you to enter. So I'm guessing this door right here. He's in apartment number two. Let's check his mail to see if he has a subscription to Playboy. That pervert. Alright, let's go. Up the stairs. Get over here. <laughs> what do you so guys want? I'm Officer Cole Phelps. This is Officer Dunn, Wilshire Division. You're the owner of a Smith & Wesson Model 27, nickel-plated with pearl grips? I might be. What of it? Then you'll be surprised to know that Scooter Payton was murdered tonight with your gun. You're out of your mind. Scooter, he works for me. I have that gun here in my drawer. What the fuck is going on here? You're under arrest, Schroeder. Cuff him, Ralph. No way. You're not taking me down for this. Oh shit, a fist fight. Hold L2 to brawl. Oh shit, just got real, son. Oh, what's wrong? Hold on. I ain't done with you yet. Not by a fucking long shot. <laughs> I beat this dude's ass. Oh my god. Ralph. He couldn't even right. move. I'm fine. I hardly felt it. Yeah, okay. You it's were like knocked the fuck out. Hard. You were half knocked the I fuck out. I handled business. Let's see here. Found his checkbook. Anti something. I can't read this dude's hand. Ted Rossi. of names in a series of numbers. Floyd Rose's name is in this book. Phelps, we can come out of this all bright and shiny with a commendation. Or stick our schlongs in a hornet's nest. Call it in, partner. And leave the book where you found it. Officer Phelps, badge 1247. Requesting. There goes all the glory. Now we just got a shiny new badge. That's nothing. Sons of bitches, get in this line now before I lose my temper. Excuse me, Sergeant, but. Excuse me? Fuck you! You say another word and I'll break your fucking head and have you in the brig. Some of us are here for. I know why you're here, ass wipe. I'm having a bad day, Private. Some people don't seem to want to get on this bus. I didn't ask for your help. He didn't ask for your help. Can you believe this guy? Who are you two? Abbott and Costello? We're here for OCS, Sergeant. So it's the three fucking stooges and you're here for OCS. God help this fucking country in the USMC. The Japanese will do the world a favor and kill you quickly. All three of you are on report. What are your fucking names? Phelps. Kelso. Merrill. Any other gentlemen for OCS? OCS is at Elliot. You take the Camp Elliot bus over there. This bus is for MCRD. This bus is for men who want to fight. Every game has to have, like, a crazy military instructor <laughs> or some, every movie. Well, you picked the right place, Cole. A city that needed an honest cop like a thirsty man needed water. You'd heard the stories, but you weren't interested. You were here to fight the good fight, solve cases, right wrongs. The force is like politics. 
There's no city on the fence. You have to choose sides. A brown paper envelope or a Greyhound ticket to Palookaville. It could only ever end. All units, a 211 in progress and shots fired at Westlake Savings and Loan, 1415 West 3rd Street. Unit to handle identifying code 3. We're still we'll stuck in this that. fucking still shit wagon with this guy. Adam calling KGPL. We'll handle the 211. Roger that, 14 Adam. Be advised, suspects are armed and dangerous. Roger, KGPL. 14 Adam on route. I'm also armed and dangerous, but my partner got his ass beat by some old man. <laughs> One punch. God, the turning's really tight. Like, you just touch it and you're turning like on a dime. Take it quick, you guys. The cops are here. We gotta move it. Oh shit. Oh shit, that should have been a headshot. I got you covered, Cole. Weapons on the ground now. <laughs> Weapons on the ground now. Come on out. Weapons on the ground now. How do I pick up my He's dead now. I I think. We don't know how many are in there. Take it slow. The controls are really odd uh, for shooting and shit. I wonder if I can change them. I need to go pick my shotgun back up that I randomly threw on the ground. Give me that shotgun. There we go. LAPD, put down your weapons. The bank is surrounded. I'm offering you Not a chance. Not a chance, copper. You got me closer. Oh, you're gonna get it, buddy. Stay down. How do I reload? It's, oh, like I said, really weird controls. Stay covered. Oh shit! You just got your shit ruined, That's bro. It. We got them all. I think we got them, Cole. Should be all clear. I don't trust it. I say we go in shooting. Lieutenant Hopkins says anytime you reach for the shotguns, you're either gonna end up dead or wearing a citation. So I guess it's okay, Ralph. You did well in there. I'm glad you had my back. Man couldn't ask for a better partner. <laughs> yeah. Okay. He's the very negative influence to my career he has no balls this kind of opportunity comes along once in a lifetime Hank <laughs> I have to grasp it you have to survive at first Cole here are the veterans the Japs love to shoot officers if I can make a name for myself in this war my future. Thinking of taking on a company of the Emperor's finest single-handed? You don't seem the Sergeant York type to me. When I need your opinion, Kelso, I'll ask for it. They talk about officers like you in boot camp, Cole. They call it the Custer Syndrome. Guys who go around dreaming of fame and glory and getting all of their men killed in the process. Our duty is to lead, Kelso. And their duty is to die for your wonderful future? That really kind of paints the 